Sunday now. I went out for a little bit of a hike. Because today I'm going to talk about my first webcomic series. And I desperately needed a change of scenery because the last few vlogs I've been doing pretty much all taking place in my room. That's kind of a boring backdrop as opposed to this. However, it is kind of funny and weird to be up in these hills because I just found some bodily remains of an unfortunate animal. You know, just as a reminder that there are cougars and uh, coyotes up in these damn here hills. And as you guys can see, my incredibly weak chin and I have not shaved in a while because frankly I'm insanely lazy and also I miss my beard I miss it terribly okay so the first issue or comic or episode of another life at strange verse was uh, published in November of 2012 right before the world ended man like right on time but the story sort of behind it actually started way earlier Back in 2009, I created two characters called Dirge and Ed. Dirge started out as a kind of a knockoff of Deadpool, and Ed, I don't really know where Ed came from. He just kind of like started out as Dirge's sidekick, because Dirge needed a sidekick, because at the start of it, he was kind of the main character. Uh, he wasn't even named Ed to begin with. He was, he was named Bunny Boy which is still a, an exceptionally adorable name. Uh, eventually, I decided, well, I need to, uh, I kind of want to do some comics with these characters. There are some funny stories to be told here, but I could never like settle on one version of them or another. There would, some versions of them would be way more serious, some way more cartoony and uh, comic booky. Uh, Way more comedic and uh, I tried my hand on a few comics uh, but only did about four of them and then I kind of gave up for a few years and I tried again I tried again uh, eventually I was like you know what I just need to commit I just need to start working on it so I made my own website called strangeverse.org which ended up becoming the name for the universe that these characters live in and sort of a kind of franchise overall franchise name for that comic and most of the other comics that I made after that. The comic didn't even start out being named as Another Life in Strange Verse. It started out just being called Dirge and Ed. And then the deeper I got into the plot and the lore, but the more inclined I was to just change the name. Another Life in Strange Verse, or Alice as I call it for short, was not a particularly good series. There are some good jokes in there, and there are some uh, there are some early hints at what I would end up doing in my other comics that I started out doing there. Some early plot experiments, some uh, first attempts at foreshadowing and mystery building that ultimately would carry over to my other works. But when everything was said and done, the series kind of suffered from my lack of coherent vision for the series. Because it was very experimental and I just started out doing it and I had no idea what I wanted to do. And it kind of suffered for it, but it also paints an intriguing image of my journey as an artist at that time. So the series started out in November 2012 and ended in January of 2014. So it lasted uh, a little over a year. But during that time it went from being just kind of like a joke of the week styled uh, Kelvin and Hobbes newspaper comic book and slowly but gradually evolved into something way more plot heavy. So in the first episode of this series, uh, the main character, Ed, wakes up in this mysterious facility in the middle of fucking nowhere. And we first see him having this fractured dream and we have no idea what it is. And then he wakes up and says, I gotta stop the design -er. And he's like, oh wait, what, what was I dreaming? Where, where am I? 
and he gets informed that he's been disowned by his family he uh because he apparently hijacked a bus because he's a psychopath and he goes outside and meets dirge and they're like well we have nobody to care for us or nobody no home to call our own so let's just go somewhere together and then they find the city and they uh rent an apartment or buy an apartment i have no idea where they got the money i never really addressed it soon after that ed meets this girl called maggie and at first she seems to be just this quirky girl but then we find out that she actually knows him at the time it is unknown where she knows him from but it is later revealed that she knows him from a past life it is windy right now stop it and as the series grew in complexity uh, we learned that this is not just the case with them they are not the only ones who have been reincarnated again and again and again but it is the entire universe the strange verse is a universe that keeps getting reincarnated at the end of the series Ed has this epiphany he remembers all the things and he grows super powerful for some reason and he dirge and Maggie and they all sort of break loose from their creators grip because they are tired of getting reincarnated and being slaves to their creators stories their creators destinies and uh, if you didn't notice or didn't guess the the creator was basically me it was it was very meta it was very weird but it sort of set the stage for a lot of my other comics that came after that because they were sort of indirect sequels to this now the reason why i ended the series uh apart from the fact that it was just a mess came about not because i didn't really have any ideas of how to end it or how to proceed but because i had too many ideas which sounds like a weird flex and it absolutely is but it is also the fucking truth in the last episodes or last issues of the series ed sees fragments of potential futures and each and every single one of those fragments was my way of paying homage to each and every one of the ideas that i had because originally the series wasn't supposed to end there it was supposed to go on there was supposed to be this major event that where ed almost got killed and the three of them all got all parted ways and had to go about their on their own adventures before eventually coming back together and then taking the fight to the designer or the creator and like I couldn't decide on how that was supposed to happen or where they were supposed to go and I just kind of liked each and every single one of the ideas so it became sort of part of the plot to go in the unexpected route to just like end it to have my own creations kind of like escape my grasp and it was, a, it was a way for me to sort of write those characters out of my head. Although it didn't take too long because I eventually wrote them into other series and wrote another sequel series or not, not sequel series. Fucking whatever it was. It was fun. Uh, but yeah, it was sort of... Uh, that was kind of my way to pay homage to unformed ideas and the the fractured dream that Ed has in the beginning although plot wise is supposed to hint at their past lives it is also it also serves as an homage to all the past versions of Dirge and Ed and Maggie I'm proud of this series if only for the fact that it made me kind of go out there and do something creative and just like do it instead of sitting and contemplating it endlessly but this is also not exactly one of my best works. So I'm kind of ashamed of a lot of things there. First of all, uh, I clearly started out with a strong idea, but I had no idea where I was going to take it. Second of all, I uh, changed art styles several times throughout the whole thing. And I mean, you could, I guess you could look at it, it's my way as an artist to evolve, blah, 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 blah. but no. If you start a series, you should have a consistent art style it's like rule number one in comics don't just randomly change your art style people hate that and second of all my main female character was not exactly a great representation of female characters the series absolutely failed the Bechdel test it has one female main character it has another female side character which is her twin sister Siriana uh, and the only time that they speak with one another, they are talking about Ed. So, it's not good. 
So Alice didn't really end up being something that I'm incredibly proud of, but it became an, an incredibly important learning tool for me. That was when I hashed out all my bad ideas, all my good ideas. That's when I realized what I liked to do and what I didn't like to do. And it became an important stepping stone to better things. But it's funny to think about it because I went from ending one series in frustration and shame actually to starting another series that I ended up being really proud of and still am to this day. I'll every now and then flip through the issues or the episodes of Black Rock Park and just be like, God damn, yeah, fuck yeah. That is some good shit. So stay tuned for in a couple of days I'm going to revisit that shit. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go find some food because I went on this hike without eating anything and my body is fucking spent because I am not the definition of fit. Double chin action to prove my point.